Hi, this is Flash from the United Handyman Association with Handyman Answers. So, this is New Year's Eve, last day of the month. I'm like sending emails out about like, you know, the last opportunity to get tax write-offs, you know, things like that for your businesses, um, utilizing services from the UHA or other business avenues, um, becoming certified today, uh, things like that. But today, on this video, I want to talk about free money, an easy way for you to get free money back by purchasing materials for your customers. So, if you if you're like uh, you know going to the store for your customers and purchasing materials for them, those values, those dollars can add up. You could be spending thousands every month. You could be spending tens of thousands every year, and um, if you're paying cash for those materials, it's just cash money gone. You get reimbursed from your customers. But an easy way for you to get money back would be to use a credit card. Use a credit card, but don't forget to use the money that they pay you back to, um, to pay off the credit card. So if you use a credit card to buy your materials, maybe you have one designated credit card that you're getting points from, that you're getting, you know, one... 2%, 3%, 1.5%, whatever it is um, per dollar you spend, use that credit card, whether it's at Home Depot or Lowe's or True Value or whatever your local hardware store is. Use your credit card. Have one credit card des designated to materials that you know that you are going to pay off at the end of each month so you're not paying interest because obviously if you pay interest on that amount and you get paid from your customer, then you're going to pay more interest than you're ever going to get back. So the the you know the most important part of this is to pay off that credit card when they pay you. So using a credit card to buy materials, you're going to get points. You're going to you're going to, that's cash money in your pocket because you're going to have credits on your statements that you can use when you buy gas. When I go to a fuel pump and I put a card in, nowadays it. it it asks me if I want to apply my points for 50 cents off a gallon or 75 cents off a gallon or 90 cents off a gallon if I want to apply points. If I want to buy things on Amazon, it asks me if I want to use points. If I want to just take those points and put it towards paying my bill, I can use those points. That's all dollars. That's all cash. That's all money. That's all money that you're going to be spending. But if you're building up points using somebody else's money, that's easy money. That's easy money that you are making, cash money in your pocket, cash money that isn't going out of your pocket. You know, I have purchased things for my kids with points. Recently, I bought my daughter a new mattress with points. I didn't I didn't spend a dime. Christmas gifts with points. I mean, it, it is so easy. It's, you know, it just, you know, there are things that I'm going to point out in videos that, you know, you should do for yourself or you should do for your business that I point out it's a no-brainer. You know, becoming a certified business or becoming, you know, legitimizing your business and getting, you know, verified or accredited, that's a no-brainer because it puts you on a whole new level than the typical handyman. That's a no-brainer. Cash money money that you didn't have to spend of your own to get cash back, get money back from that. That's a no-brainer. That's one of those things that falls into those, oh my gosh, what in the world was I thinking? Why haven't I been doing that all along? I mean, I take advantage of that. I'm the one shopping. I'm the one going to the store. I'm the one spending my time. I'm the one, you know, frustrated, waiting in line, whatever. So that's a way for me to get paid back. Oh, as well, and it's not costing the customer anything. If they wanted to put it on their card and they want the points, then they'll go shopping. So bottom line is, you're going shopping, you put it on your card, you pay the bill, they pay you, you pay the bill, and now you're racking up points that you can now put towards other things. Fuel, I mean, come on. With fuel prices right now, why not have an opportunity to be able to like, yes, I'll use my points. Yes, I'll get 50% off per gallon. I'm going to fill up my truck. Oh my gosh, bring my other truck. Okay? Use the points. Get the points. Earn the points. You're spending the money anyway. You might as well figure out a way to get that cash back.
and they're all you know all the cards are offering it now pretty much so find a card that gets you the most points for shopping things like that there are cards that are designated to give you points for fuel there are you know so cards you have to pay attention to what it's telling you and what the best value for the points are some cards if you go to Home Depot or something like that it isn't going to matter they're not going to give you points or they're going to give you such a low amount that you might want to shop for a different card so first of all you have to have credit you have to get a card okay I think there are prepaid cards now that you can still get points on so that's my tip that's my I think probably last tip of 2022 Happy New Year. I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys enjoy your, you know, your New Year's, New Year's Eve, whether you're going out or staying in, drinking or staying sober, whatever it is, whatever you're, wherever you are at in your life. Um, I want you to enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Let's say bye to, you know, 2022. Hopefully it was a good year. And uh, and let's let's welcome a, a new year, 2023. Let's knock it out of the park. Let's do everything that we need to do. Let's enjoy our life. Let's increase our business and let's work together for the handyman industry. This was Flash with Handyman Answers. Happy New Year. Bye.